Hello everyone, my name is Philip. I'm also known as PSRPSNF. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the one kilobyte uh, category for intros in the demo scene. If you're not familiar with the demo scene, there's a link on the description below where you can read the Wikipedia article explaining what the demo scene is. This video particularly is going to focus on the one kilobyte category, which is a very special category. Um, on the demo scene, usually you can do demos, which is unlimited size uh, restrictions for your executables, or you can do intros, which are usually uh, tiny pieces of executable. They are restrained into certain constraints uh, of size. The most popular categories uh, ended up being the 128 bytes, 556 bytes, 512, 1 kilobyte, 4 kilobyte. And nowadays, the 8 kilobyte is also a bit popular. Uh, then we had the 40 kilobyte, which was also a bit popular on the Amiga at some point, 64 kilobyte, and uh, then it was pretty much unlimited for the demo platform. Uh, these restrictions in size originally came from uh, the bootloader disks uh, on, on the old platforms where you wanted to swap cracked games around and you were limited to, to the boot disk size where it was the only place left on the disk for you to put your intro on. So you had to make a very small intro size. So that was the origin of, of uh, the intros being limited in size and why size optimization, optimization is still so famous in the demo scene. This video we're gonna take a look at mostly uh, MS-DOS and Windows. Uh, one kilobytes, how the platform uh, or the category started becoming famous itself. Uh, the first records there are of uh, competitions solely focused on one kilobytes that I could find at least was the on the Antic demo party uh, in Hungary. And this was back in 96. They had uh, the PC one kilobyte uh, competition. There might have been other parties before. If you do know about them, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and this is mostly on PC. There were one kilobyte competitions on other platforms as well. Uh, Commodore 64, Spectrum, and I think eventually Atari as well had a one kilobyte competition at some point. But we're going to focus on uh, PC machines here. So uh, MS-DOS and Windows. So Antic uh, back then in 96 were still mostly uh, people still used MS-DOS. And most of the one kilobytes that you see, saw there was just extensions of 512 bytes intros. They just occupied bigger size. People weren't optimizing it as well. They barely used music. So they weren't really that interesting. Uh, only a few years later, still in Antic Demo Party, I think was in 98, was when you first saw a one kilobyte intro with music. And that was called... Uh, Scant by Dilemma, um, which was interesting at the time. It was uh, not so known or not so common for you to have music on a small intro. Nowadays, mostly most 128-byte intros have some sort of music, uh, and even 256-byte intros and 512-byte intros also include music. So there have been a lot of tricks that have been revealed between then and now that allows you to put that. But back then the machines were also quite limited. Uh, you can see the year uh, later, uh, Dilemma released another follow-up intro, which also won the one kilobyte compo, which is called Scant 2. Um, it was also quite interesting. There was a competition organized at FNET on the Assembler uh, channel for one kilobyte intros. There were a few intros released there. None of them had really music or decent captures, so I, I couldn't include them on this video. Uh, but yeah, a lot of these little intros for MS-DOS happened around this time. Uh, but it was only until 2004 that we started having intros which were for Windows. Um, Windows showed up as a platform in the late 2000s or early 2000s, but it wasn't really adopted for the one kilobyte. And the person who managed to bring back the one kilobyte uh, uh, platform in Windows which it was Hitchhiker. Uh, Hitchhiker was part of uh, many groups at the time. He released a few intros in 2004, which ended up being like the benchmarks for what you can use if you need like a code base to code one kilobytes. Uh, then IQ replicated his, his uh, attempt and released some small footprint executables as well for you to do something similar. 
And a lot of people were already doing 4Ks in Windows at this point, but 1K was still too big that you needed to optimize a lot to be able to put one effect there. So Hitchhiker released a few DirectX and OpenGL and even software renderer uh, benchmarks that became really famous. Uh, this was around 2004. Uh, I'm going to show you one of them, which is 1K OpenGL Boulder by uh, TriStar. doesn't have any sound, but it was uh, an example of what you could do in OpenGL in one kilobyte at the time. And of course, at this, at this point in time, uh, there was still um, usefulness for size limitation in Windows because there were still pirate groups that wanted crack throws for their releases, even if it's a lot less than it used to be in the late 90s, uh, they still wanted a small crack show made by uh, an art group of the demo scene. Um, so they wanted these small footprint files to be able to include and not, not take so much size. Um, when you actually saw some sound on Windows, uh, one kilobyte was gloom and a ringing tone, uh, also by Hitchhiker, but in, in uh, this particular intro under the group name of Hoodlum, which were active releasing a few crack throws and stuff like that. And you will be able to see the video here and now as well. It's also pretty, pretty nice. Uh, another one that was released uh, around the time was a Radical by Ault. I just captured a video for it. Uh, today, so I, I thought it would be nice to include it. This was in January 2006. No sound though, as you can see, not a lot of people still uh, using the sound capabilities. But when things really picked up was in 2007. And in 2007, these guys called TBC were starting to work on Crinkler, which was a size crunching thing. They mostly were using it for their 4Ks. Uh, but they quickly noticed that it could be applied and also be used to do one kilobyte intros. Uh, so one of the intros that first was released in 2007 was Trace RT, uh, mostly done by Mentor. You will be able to see the video here. And uh, uh, followed later on the same year at Function 2007, they managed to do Tracy, which actually had music in it. For, so it was really very interesting to be able to have a 1K with a single effect, using array marching stuff, we, finally you, you could use pixel shader things, you already had OpenGL 2.0 available at this time, and uh, with music, everything crunched into one kilobyte, so you could finally do like a one effect with music and use that as a category, and that would really boom the 1K scene at this point, and you would see very easily a one kilobyte being submitted into a four kilobyte uh, compo, because the four kilobyte was being uh, compressed so much that you could put easily a single effect with music into a single executable. Uh, another one that was released around that time in February 2008 was Choco Looks by Ault, was also pretty known at the time, uh, very famous, also worth checking out. And uh, then uh, quickly after that, uh, uh, Icons had a PC 1K compo category in 2008 and uh, Himalaya by TBC won that one and uh, you can notice Himalaya has music but it's pretty bad <laughs> overall but well it's what you can fit on the 1k and it's curious because this is uh, before Elevated was made and Elevated uh, collaborated with TBC uh, or IQ when he was making Elevated Collaborated with TBC and it's a very similar setting. It's like the mountains, you can see some snow, you have some music, but Elevated was just done on another level and it took full advantage of the extra 3k that were available uh, to do so. But yeah, Himalaya was also a very interesting stepping stone here and then there were another groups that were also active and started doing stuff in the one kilobyte category, one of them was Frequency. Uh, there was also uh, uh, Tyler Durden was, that released something. There was also the guys from uh, New Low K and a few other people that I'm probably forgetting right now. Uh, anyways, uh, Frequency released this intro called Meta Tunnel. Uh, I believe it doesn't have sound. If it does, you will listen to it on uh, the video. So Meta Tunnel by Frequency was released at Numerica Art Party, got first place at the PC 4K kilobyte uh, competition. Uh, despite being a 1K, it competed on the on the 4 kilobyte 
uh, compo. Uh, same thing happened to uh, Untraceable by TBC, participated on the 4 kilobyte compo at Breakpoint 2009, got second place there, uh, was also ended up being nominated the best technical achievement for the Sinotorg Awards. And later in the year, uh, to the ribbon or to the road of ribbon by frequency was also released. Didn't have sound, but it looked pretty good, and it, it started to be a good uh, showcase of what you could do with ray trace on on these uh, graphics cards that everyone started to have in 2009. Um, I'm going to end this video here, just not to make it very long. I'm going to do a second part to this, so uh, take, stay tuned. And you can probably see it on the cards here somewhere that you can click and check out the following. And I'm also going to do a playlist, so if you guys want to see the whole intros, just uh, click somewhere here and you will see uh, a link to see the whole intros in a row. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think of uh, this video. Put your comments below. See you next time. Take care.